Question 24. The table gives information about the heights and h meters of trees in a wood. Draw a histogram to show this information. I love histograms because the easiest mistake people make is trying to plot it as a bar graph or a frequency polygon. Plotting frequency, but it's not a histogram in this situation, is plotting frequency density. It's the area of your bars which make up the frequency. And that's the thing to remember. So if we're going to plot the frequency density, we're going to have to work that out. And we need to add a couple more rows onto the side of this table. There's no harm putting any calculations you need before drawing the graph. So first off, we need a class width. And then we're going to work out frequency density. Okay. So if we just add this extra bit onto my table, I can keep all my calculations together before trying to plot them. So class width is the distance between each of these class intervals. So 0 to 2, the width is 2. Again, width is 2. But then we've got from 4 to 8 is 4. 8 to 16 is 8. 16 to 20 is 4. So because we've got these different widths, we're going to have to work out frequency density. So the frequency density is where you take the frequency and divide it by the class width. So we're going to divide 7 divided by 2 is 3.5. 14 divided by 2 is 7. 18 divided by 4 is 4.5. Twenty-four divided by eight is three. Ten divided by four is two point five. So these are the values that we're going to be plotting onto our axes. Up the side here, we want frequency density. Frequency. Density. And along the bottom, you always have frequency at the side, and your data always goes along the bottom. So along the bottom here is going to be height in meters. So if we look, our scale has to go from 0 to 20 along the bottom, and you can design any scale you want as long as it encompasses the numbers that we're after. I'm going to start at 0 right at the beginning, and then 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I think I'm going to go up in 2s. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. That 6 wasn't overly well done. And uh, just to be careful that I'm not going to be misunderstood or confuse myself later on, I'm just going to undo that and write it in the right place. So we've labelled the height. Now we need to have a scale which goes up to 7 potentially should have enough here, maybe, 0.51, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, each medium sized square is going to have to equal 1, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So now all we do is treat it like a frequency diagram, we're going to plot a bar graph almost, with the frequency density using the scale along the bottom. So between 0 and 2, between 0 and 2 is going to be a box that goes up to a frequency density of 3.5. Between 2 and 4, this needs to go up to 7. So drawing it in pencil first, you can always go over it in pen later if you need to make it really stand out. But it's better to do it in pencil, but do make sure that your lines are clear. Between 4 and 8 this time, so our bars can be a bit wider, it goes up to 4.5. So make sure you're reading it off your own scale carefully. Next one between 8 and 16. So again, this is going to be a really wide bar, but the frequency density is only 3. And then 
the final bar, which is between 16 and 20, has a frequency density of 2.5. Having calculated frequency density, correctly labelled our axes and drawn the bars in the right place, we should have our full three marks.